Ideal Industries continues to set the standard for innovation, performance and quality with our full line of installation and testing products for the low voltage datacom contractor. For local area network cable certification, the Ideal Landtech 2 provides the best speed, performance and value, offering the fastest test times ultimate versatility and powerful reporting software. The Landtech 2 has set new standards for measuring the performance of network cabling installations. We'll show you the innovative features that we've designed and built into this new cable certifier. You'll understand the basics of certification that are critical to the wide range of cable types found in today's local area network installations. We'll provide easy product setup and operating instructions so you can use the product with confidence. You'll learn to rely on the benefits that technicians using this tester in the field appreciate every day. The DVD also contains reference materials, product data sheets, and manuals that you can access from the DVD-ROM reference materials folder. With three models from 350 to 1000 MHz, the Landtech 2 has the performance needed to certify any category of cabling without unnecessary expense. The accuracy of the tester is independently verified by ETL, and every certifier is individually tested for compliance before shipment. Fast test times for Category 5E, Category 6, Category 6A, and Category 7 or 7A cabling with full performance data. 10 gigabit alien crosstalk testing that's four times faster than other systems being used in the field. And unlike other certifiers, Landtech does not require a laptop computer in the field to calculate the results. Its powerful processor performs all measurements and calculations on board, saving time. And the intuitive user interface makes the complicated process of testing alien crosstalk easier than with any other system. The Landtech 2 performs dual mode testing, so you can test permanent and channel link at once, test against ratified and proposed standards, or up-test categories without changing adapters or running additional tests. The patented universal adapter system keeps operating costs low because the high-frequency connector is protected within the adapter housing, eliminating breakage and increasing the overall durability of the system. And it allows you to certify most cabling with off-the-shelf patch cords for most installations. This feature saves hundreds of dollars in maintenance costs on every job you test. While other certifiers require constant replacement of expensive connectors on their specialty test leads, the wear component on Lantec is a standard off-the-shelf expendable patch cord that costs just a few dollars and is available at your local distributor. The Lantec 2 is versatile, with options for certification of a wide range of cabling found in Datacom applications, including the latest ISO Class F, Category 7, and Category 7A options for 10 gigabyte and 40 gigabyte Ethernet. And this tester has the most internal memory available. Plus, you can simply offload tests to a standard USB flash drive for printing and archiving. The durable housing is lightweight, and its slim shape makes it easier to hold and carry on the job site. The large, ultra-bright 4.3-inch widescreen display has crisp white LED backlighting for easier viewing of high-frequency data plots. It also provides a nearly 90 degree viewing angle, making it easier to read in many situations. Its new smart lithium battery technology gives you an amazing 18 plus hours of use in the field. You can slow charge in under 8 hours or fast charge with the battery's dedicated charging port. You can even run the Lantec directly from the AC adapter without a battery. The internal gauge automatically recalibrates to let you know the amount of battery power remaining at a glance, even as the battery pack ages over the years. The Lantec 2 handsets have a push-to-talk function that improves sound fidelity and eliminates noise from the job site. And there's no need to use a second system to communicate back and forth. The new Ideal Data Center software puts reporting power at your fingertips. The main test grid display can be customized to review the results of any of the test parameters measured. Importing, sorting, saving, and backing up data is simple to do. The single screen interface makes scanning through tests fast and easy. IDC provides the ability to export test data in XML, CSV, or PDF format, or generate printed reports in several formats from a single line summary report to a detailed report that provides colorful plots for each of the high frequency tests. That makes IDC the most user friendly and powerful cable reporting software ever. 
The Lantec 2 kit includes both handsets with batteries, two RJ45 adapters, two Category 6A F slash FTP cords, power supplies with multinational plugs, hanging straps, a USB cable, the data center installation CD, a multilingual operations manual, and a durable hard-sided carrying case. The FiberTech FDX kit includes two dual-wavelength bidirectional modules, SC, ST, and FC adapters, SC to SC launch cords, a red laser visual fault finder, and a multilingual manual on CD. The optional FiberTech FDX modules provide the world's only dual-wavelength bidirectional fiber certification method that's fast and incredibly easy to use. Test each fiber once and get five measurements without needing to swap fibers or reconcile data. The FiberTech FDX options add full Tier 1 standards compliant fiber certification capability to the Lantec 2 certifier. These modules incorporate dual wavelength transmitters and a wide range power meter to allow testing loss of fiber links as well as measuring light emitted from active network equipment for troubleshooting. The full duplex FiberTech FDX saves time and simplifies documentation by completely eliminating the need to swap launch cords or modules. It tests a single strand of fiber at two wavelengths and in both directions with one press of the auto test button. Certification guarantees the quality of a structured cabling telecommunication installation based on performance standards. The electrical properties of a cable are measured at a wide range of frequencies to determine its performance. Each system is unique based on customer needs, function, cable and connection types, and other variations in existing equipment. Because network speeds are increasing and voice, video, and data are converging on a single network, the quality of a cable system installation is critical in schools, hospitals, industry, and businesses. Categories or classes are used to designate the differences in unshielded twisted pair, screen twisted pair, and shielded twisted pair cables. The most common designation is the maximum frequency it will support per pair. Cable certifiers, like the Lantec 2, perform the tests required by TIA, EIA, and ISO standards to certify these cable categories. They also provide for storage of source fiber optic testing and must meet or exceed accuracy levels determined by international standards organizations. Basic cable testing involves either the backbone cable that feeds the entire system or measuring the performance of the horizontal cabling from the telecommunications closet to the individual work area outlets. A wide range of tests can be performed using the Lantec 2 for wire mapping, length, return loss, impedance, capacitance, attenuation, crosstalk, and more. There are two handsets used for certification testing with the Lantec 2. The display handset features the color display, function, and navigation keys, as well as a number of keys to perform special functions. The remote handset has an LCD display window and a number of function keys including the ability to start an auto test for single user operation. The first screen shows the tester as it powers up and performs a self-test. The display handset interface is similar to a typical cell phone in that its functions are pictured as icons and you navigate these screens using the keypad and navigation keys to make your selections. The ready screen contains icons for the primary functions. You'll notice that the battery power percentage, number of tests stored internally, audio settings, and date time, as well as the current screen name, are visible across the top at all times. We'll start with user preferences selected here. We can enter user information into these fields to indicate the operator, project, and owner information. This information is added to each test but can also be changed on the computer using IDEAL's IDC reporting software. Auto Test Preferences is the next selection. Select the available options, the Help button for further explanation, or the Enter key when complete. You can also adjust the backlight brightness, timeout options for the display, measurement units, or date and time formatting. You set the wire map color code on this screen using the function keys. 
Choose this icon next to set the testing standard you want to use. It's helpful to understand the permanent, basic, and channel for the installation. Also, knowing whether you're testing TIA or ISO standards and which category of cable is present will help you make these settings. Although it is no longer used in new installations, Basic Link measures cable performance from the patch panel to the work area outlet, plus the test equipment cords, up to a limit of 308 feet. Permanent Link only measures the cabling from the patch panel to the work area outlet. It does not include the test equipment cords, so its length limit is 295 feet. Channel Link measures from the patch panel to the outlet plus all the patch cords that connect the user to the hub, so its length limit is actually 328 feet. Each drop requires another set of cords for accurate measurements. Depending on which category rating you choose and whether you're testing UTP or STP will dictate which tests are run and to what frequency. For this demonstration, we've chosen Category 6A UTP Permanent Link. Highlight Twisted Pair Perm and press Enter to get started. Then select Category 6A-500 UTP Perm on this display and press Enter to activate that test standard. Return to the Ready screen and press Enter to select Setup Cable ID. Make sure Single Cable ID is selected and then choose Set Cable ID by pressing Enter. Enter the cable name here, then press the down arrow to input the current value. Next, we'll set up a folder to store the test results by highlighting the file icon and pressing Enter. The job list displays all the existing folders that are currently stored in the tester. Press the Options Function key and then select New Job from the list and press Enter. Create a job name that is relevant to the job at hand using the keypad and press Enter. It will now appear in the job folder list and at the top of the screen indicating that it is the active job. To save tests to an existing job folder, highlight it by selecting F1 and then press F2 to go to the Options screen. Highlight Make Job Current and press Enter to select it. This feature allows tests to be easily organized by project, building, floor, telecom room, or whatever method works best for you. Return to the Ready screen and highlight the Field Calibration icon, then press Enter or F4. Connect the remote handset patch cord between the two units. You can use the provided cords or the brand of patch cords that match the installation. Press F4 handset to start the calibration process. Next, disconnect the remote handset patch cord and connect the display handset patch cord. Again, press F1 to calibrate. Then, disconnect the display handset patch cord from the remote handset and reconnect the remote handset patch cord to the remote handset. Now, press F1 on the display handset and press Auto Test on the remote handset. This screen will appear when both reference patch cords test good. Press Escape and the units are now ready to run tests. Simply press the Auto Test key on either handset to initiate the chosen test type. Depending on the frequency and standard being tested, the process will only take between 9 and 17 seconds, which includes full graph data and saving the test record. This screen shows that all tests passed. Notice the big green check mark. If there was a failure, you'll see a red X that indicates that one or more of the tests failed. Specific information on both low and high frequency tests and the conditions that may cause cable failures or outside of standards readings can be found in the reference materials folder that is included with this program.